right, hold on, let me close the door. I got the washer going. All right, so today I'm going to do a really easy makeup look um, with mostly Glossier stuff. So um, a few things I have to use that aren't Glossier, I'm gonna be um, using a Well People BioCorrect concealer and some Physicians Formula mascara. And also for primer, the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer in Brightening Lavender. So, um, better that, other than that, all that, that the rest is glossy. And let me get some brushes. I forgot to grab those. Oh. Anyways, if you've seen anything with, like, glossy or anything like that, um, you know, there are... They don't have a lot of stuff, but they're like supposedly, I mean, their stuff's pretty high quality. Some of it's natural. It's not all natural, but some of it's natural. Um, and I'm just putting the face primer on. It's all right. I mean, for the money, it's really good. Probably the best primer I've ever had is the Hourglass Mineral Veil. That stuff's really good. But anyways, Glossier is known for a really clean, simple look. Um, they, I don't even think they have foundation. It's like a face. It's like a mix between like a moisturizer and a foundation. It looks like a tin of moisturizer and a foundation. I have not seen it in person, but I've seen it online. And it's uh, it doesn't look um, it's like a face tint or something I don't know and they have concealer and stuff but I mean they don't have a lot of stuff I mean it's not like going to Sephora and looking at NARS you know what I mean it's very minimalistic I guess I should say I'm putting the the Well People BioCorrect concealer on. I'm kind of doing a look how I think, you know, um, they would kind of want their Glossier girl to look. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have their concealer. I'm interested in it, and you know. Maybe down the road, hopefully, I can get some, but, I mean, I'm happy with what I got right now. The concealer I have works just fine. And anyways, I'm just... I've got a Real Techniques concealer brush from the Bold Metals collection. And it's the only brush I know of that goes with that concealer so far. Um, other concealer brushes just don't work. Anyways, uh, their look is very natural, basically just kind of cover up your flaws and very natural coloring, not anything too bold. And I haven't tried any of their skin care besides their Balm.com, and I still, even I got in the Balm.com, I got the red one, the cherry one because I wanted color because <laughs> um, I mean I I have a regular chapstick that I like that's affordable you know what I mean I mean and their balm.com is expensive so um, yeah um, I wanted it to have some color to it yeah I mean their products they're not the most expensive but they're not cheap you know they're kind of like lower to mid mid range so, I don't know. Anyways, I got the concealer on. I covered up some blemishes. Today is a, fast, a face mask day, so uh, before I put a face mask on and all that, I thought I'd do some makeup. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with the... I'm tired. I drink way too much coffee, and it's not doing what I think I should do. I'm going to go in with the Halo Scope and Topaz um, as a contour. And 
And I'm actually going to contour a little bit more than usual. Uh, I don't normally contour my nose. It's not really my thing. Actually, I need to... See. Yeah, there's still plenty left. But yeah, the contour... They're contour sticks, or it's not a contour stick, it's actually a highlighting stick. And the topaz color, the shade for... Um, the topaz shade is actually really good if you have darker skin. And in the summertime, which I mean it is summer now, but I mean like in the like deeper summer, it's a highlight for me. But right now it's still, I can still pull it off as a contour. If they had one, like a shade, just one shade darker and it's had like just a kind of like gray cast to it. Even if it was still a little bit shimmery, because I mean, I actually like the glowy effect it has. If I could just find one that was like a little more contour color for when I'm darker. Because that's more of a bronzer. that out with the real techniques it's a it just a sculpting brush it's a kabuki sculpting brush and just blend it all out I am really interested in their face tint and their concealer it's just I have other stuff that I like that I know works and you know I they don't have a store for me to have kind of go play with it so it's definitely one of those things you know I've watched YouTube videos where people like it and everything, but still, you know. Right now, if I'm going to buy a new, you know, I'm not going to buy another concealer till I run out, but um, if I'm going to buy a new concealer, I'm more interested in the milk one right now. And I'm going to be applying some boy brow, which I think besides the balm.com is their most notorious, what they're known for. Honestly, the next thing, if I get anything else from Glossier, it'll be another Haloscope stick. I mean, besides refilling my boy brow stuff, because I like, I mean, that's awesome. But I want to get the Haloscope in Moonstone, I think, or it's the white one, I don't know. I'd like to have all their halo scopes. They're all pretty. I think the white one, though, would be comparable to um, the Fenty Beauty Moon Metal highlight. And given that it's in stick form and everything, I think I feel like I'd have more control over it. The Fenty highlight's really pretty and everything, but it's expensive. I got mine for Christmas, but still, it's expensive. And I just tweeze my brows, but they're still, I'm still letting them grow out, so. I mean, I'm in a huge process of letting my eyebrows grow out, and it's a bitch. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, it really is. It's a huge pain in the ass letting brows grow out. It takes so long, and I'm also growing out an undercut. I've been undercutting my hair shaving the back of my head like down here on the bottom for I, I did it for over a year and I've been letting it grow out for about four months now and that's a bitch so I'm growing up my undercut I'm growing up my brows anyways I'm gonna be taking cloud paint and haze and a bunch just popped out, so I'm gonna, I mean a bunch, I mean for a cloud paint that's a lot. And I'd like to get more of their cloud paints, the cloud paints are alright.
Anyways, I'm going to be applying that to my cheeks. And it is very strong color. So I'm going to go over it with the concealer brush to tone it down. And it's a very like, it's strong, but it's a very naturally strong flush kind of color. Take a kabuki back over it. Actually, I'll take a different kabuki. Just to calm the color down. Just I just want a natural looking flush, not a not anything too strong. And then I'm gonna take some put on my eyelid. I kind of feel like a glossier type girl, a girl that just wants to wear like nothing but glossier, minimal, minimalistic, slightly editorial. Not too editorial, but you know what I mean? All right. And I kind of like sloppily put that on my eyes. I didn't use a brush because I wanted it to have like an editorial look. Not too editorial, but a slight one. Because I feel like that's kind of like their thing. I mean, I don't think they're like runway model type stuff, but you know, I, I feel like they kind of have like an edgy kind of thing going on. And I'm taking the halo scope and I'm just contouring. I think they just came out with mascara, I'm not sure. I don't know if they've ever had mascara before, but I saw on their site they have mascara now, but. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of more interested in milk right now. I mean, I really like Glossier. They have, I mean, Boy Brow, I'll never use anything else. I love Boy Brow, these are my favorite. And the cloud paints and stuff, I mean, they're amazing. The bomb.com. If I, I mean, I like the colored ones. I'm not going to spend the money on the clear one or anything, but um, I'm going to take the haze and apply to my lips. That's what I like about the cloud paint, especially that color. For starters, that color purple looks good on my skin tone. I have olive skin, and purple looks good on olive skin tone um and it's a neutral purple it's not like a, it's not too cool it's not too warm it's kind of it's pretty neutral um but the cloud paint you know you can put it on your eyes your cheeks and your lips all right and now i'm gonna take some bomb.com and cherry for moisture and a little bit more color I'm really interested in their um, their skincare. I'd really, I'm really want to try that out. So, 
Alright, and mascara. Just a really light, light, light mascara. I don't feel like they'd be like, I don't think they're like a lashy, lashy kind of people, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like their girl's gonna be wearing fake lashes and, you know, all that stuff. And I've got the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara. Um, I'm trying to put more natural things since it's so close to my eye. On my eye, so. I don't want a bunch of toxic crap. And that's pretty much it. Kind of feel like that would be like a glossy girl face, you know what I mean? Um, color, there's still color and there's some bold factor to it, but it's not like um, those Instagram girls, you know, with the Instagram fleek brows and all that, you know? I mean, I like that look, that there's a definitely time and place for that. I'm just saying the glossy girl, I don't feel, I, I feel like it's a, a minimalistic girl with like an editorial edge, so. Anyways, that's a glossy face, thanks.